Good day everybody. I hope everything is okay with you with this COVID-19 going on in our planet Earth. Okay. So here we go again. I have one question from a friend. He asked me on how I do create a simple outdoor lighting design calculation which is composed of car park, little roadway, roadway pathwalk and perimeter lighting okay so i opened this one file of mine i did this one this is a recent project i'm working on so let me just uh show you how i do this simple outdoor lighting calculation okay so i use uh the client sent me a pdf file so i don't have the cad file so what i did is i just um um save this pdf file into jpeg and then import this jpeg file because right now this new version of dialogs evo you can use the jpeg file as your base plan you can see here now this is a jpeg file okay and you can see here on this button that uh, button that it's a jpeg file turn it off and turn it on okay and the requirement for this project this is a simple uh co-op store and uh, the client asked for a small calculation for the outer lighting similar to what my friends requested so i have car parking here and then driveway to here in this side and also perimeter perimeter lighting for this cooperative store i did not show the glass for this building because it doesn't matter because it's just an entrance and then the luminary will be mounted three meters from the ground okay so this is what i did what i usually do is i create this uh, outdoor area like i'm building the um, grass area the poles i put some trees sometimes because based on the layout they have the trees the existing trees with some which sometimes block the light lighting layout or the lighting effect so i also put the trees yeah to make sure that uh, whatever is there it will not block my calculation result okay like for example here close this one this one this big tree doesn't matter because my calculation surface is along the perimeter of the building so i i, I did not add this huge trees here but here in the car parking it's very important because sometimes it really blocks here there is one tree here but this is a proposed tree not an existing like this one so i propose my luminaire in the middle because it serves both sides for the car park and also for the driveway so i will just mention to the client that please do not put trees there because i will put the luminaire there or the poles okay so what i will always do if i have time i made i i, I will make uh, this one a little more beautiful because uh, yeah, you need to make sure to, your, to, to the client that it uh, it looks great when you present it to them. But if I don't have time, I'll just select the tree, the lollipop trees, and put it there just to make sure that the light output will not block. And if you press Control R, see, the client will see the arrow or the arrow point of these fittings. So I, the this one, this pole height is requested by the client. It's six meters. It's really high for this um, road lighting area and park, car parking. But because this is what the client wants, so I just used it. And the spacing will be just based on the calculation. You can run the calculation on the street lighting here. There is an option for the street lighting here. And because it's just a co-op area, so it means it's a, a in uh, inside road or an inner road so it will not be that strict in terms of road lighting design requirements and after building up and putting those objects the pathwalk the, the lollipop trees and the poles then i will put my calculation surfaces so if you press this calculation object tabs here you can create a polyg polygonal calculation object or a rectangular one and if you can see here i have one and it's properly labeled here it's a road and this one is a driveway see you can see here it's properly labeled and here is a parking area so i have car parking one two and three and this one is for the disabled parking so i have yes four uh, car parkings and then i have the path walk and it's here and also here which is the path walk or the perimeter lighting so this is how simple I did for an outdoor lighting and if you want to know how I 
do it one by one then it will take time it's just easy calculation surface just place it draw it like this and then for the objects go to the construction tab and select these objects here you have lots of options from the um, the catalogs of dialogues and for the poles i just created it using of course this uh, uh, cone yes you can put the height and the tapering of the pole like this one you can see here and that's it and then i'll make sure that i uh, receive uh, um, a calculation a result which is usually 20 lux for the overall like for the car park i use 20 lux because it's a commercial area and then for the driveway it's 10 lux is enough but i still receive a higher one because of the spill light coming from those pole lights on the car parking and of course for the perimeter or for the pathwalk 20 to 30 lux is required because again it's a commercial area and yeah just place your luminaire aim the fitting like this one it's tilted like i think 10 to 15 degrees uh, i think this is let's see yes this is 15 degrees so yeah you need to make sure that it's tilted properly so it will go and spill light to the other parts of the outdoor areas and that's it so that's how simple i did my outdoor lighting calculation all right i hope you learned something today and if you want to learn more about lighting design tips and tricks go and visit my of course subscribe to my youtube channel and then go and visit my <clears throat> website www.enrocolightingdesign.com and if you want to learn more and enroll in my udemy courses go and check www.udemy.com i posted um, seven courses there and you can hear yes see and then uh, i will upload more later on and yeah that's it if you want to learn more just comment and um, let's see if i can answer your questions as fast as i can because sometimes i am really really busy all right so see you again in the next video bye